morning. It's uh, Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. It's 2.17 a.m. I'm on my way to the gym right now. You know, a lot of things that transpire in one's life, especially now, what, I, what I'm learning to um, do is accept responsibility for the things I've done and then not accept responsibility for things that, quite frankly, it's, it's not my fault. It's not my problem. It's not my fault. Rather that be if somebody feels a certain way towards me and they spaz out, they just freak out and, you know, they want me to feel like I've done something. Sometimes you have to sit down and evaluate, did I do anything? And it could just be that person. But then there are circumstances where you know. You know it's you. And I'm not even talking about a one-on-one -on -one situation with a person. I'm talking about why things in your life aren't going the way that you had expected them to go. And we would sit back and we would, we would take on the role of the victim never once taken into consideration it's the things that we're doing every single day that are creating the problem on why we're not getting where we need to go or getting what we need to have or possessing what it is that really was promised to us I believe that we all have something deep down inside of us like a deep like something that's deep rooted something that, that just resonates on a regular basis. I believe that's our destiny. That thing that, um, that thing that talks to you. That thing that uh, is always there. No matter what you do, no matter how you try to shake it, it's always there. Whether it's where you should live, uh, the type of person you should be with. There's something that's that's constantly nagging at you to do it or be it or live it I believe that's your destiny I keep having this vision and it's crazy because I I belong to this this coaching program almost like a mastermind group and Um, I was talking about how there were certain things uh, in my in my life, you know, with my wife, certain things that are constantly resonating in my mind, constantly uh, playing pictures in my head of places I'm supposed to be things I'm supposed to do, things I'm supposed to see, and it's a vision of the life I'm supposed to live. Not to say that the life I live now, not to say that things that I have now, where I'm at right now, is not good. But imagine good being better. Oh, wow. Imagine good being better. And everybody's better is on a different level. Not everybody's going to do a billion dollar Jay-Z, Beyonce level. But your level that is with you is your better than good. I think that's why the uniqueness of everything from our, 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 our the day we were born to the fingerprints on our hand to the way we look our mannerisms you can still have two twins they'll have a totally different a fingerprint pattern you can also have two twins they will have totally different personalities the uniqueness of them 
the uniqueness of them only goes to show that the purpose on your life is not going to look anything like mine. what God called you to do. And so when things aren't going as planned, you know, like for instance, me, I have to always ask God to forgive me and ask him to give me strength to get out my own way. to open up the doors of abundance. <laughs> to make the impossible possible. have to you have to get out your own way and understand that I believe that there's there's another level of, of whatever wherever you're at there's another level that was intended for you to enjoy if you can get out your own way. <laughs>